Hello, fellow spies. Did you go spying with me and Charlie today? Have you worked out all the clues about who we'll be talking about? Today is from Joshua 2 and it's the story of a lady, a woman named Rahab. And Rahab was a woman who lived in the side of the wall of the city of Jericho. The Lord had chosen Joshua to conquer the land of Canaan, the promised land. So Joshua sent out two spies over the Jordan River and into the city of Jericho. 
and the two spies went to the house of the lady named Rahab. Now Rahab was considered a very, very sinful woman. In her life, she had made lots and lots of really terrible choices. The spies went to Rahab's house. Now the king of Jericho, he had heard about the Israelites and that they might attack the city. So he sent out his soldiers to go look for the two spies that he'd heard about. When the soldiers got to Rahab's house, Rahab had already hidden the spies on top of her roof under a pile of flax. Did you see in our, um, in our spying today, did you see that we had some flax or pretend flax? Let's have a look. It looked a little bit like this, only it was yellow and it looks a bit like wheat. And the the city wall, the city of Jericho, this would have been a lot like Rahab's window. And then the wall would have come all the way down like that. Rahab told the soldiers that the spies had indeed been at her house, but they were not there now. And if she was to hurry, if they were to hurry up, they might catch up with them. The spies who were hiding asked Rahab why she'd hidden them. And she said this, I know the Lord has promised you this land and most of my people are afraid of your people. We have heard how God divided the Red Sea and brought you through the wilderness. Rahab then asked them that when they attacked the city, would they save her and her family? And, this, and the men, the spies promised, they said, if you tell no one of our visit, hang a scarlet red cord out of your window and we'll see it from a distance. When we march against the city and whoever is inside will be saved. So here we go. Here's a scarlet thread like the one that they told her to hang out of her window. So then Rahab hung a long rope out of her window because her house, as I said, was built on the city wall and the spies climbed out of her window to the ground and hid in the mountains for a few days. Now, as you probably know, Rahab wasn't an obvious, fa obvious face, faithful choice. She's only actually mentioned five times in the Bible. Two times in the story of Joshua and then three times in the New Testament. But God used Rahab to be a part of his story as he so often does with us. And so often we see that God can take someone who has done the wrong thing or who's been in the wrong situation and use them for his glory, which is exactly what he did with Rahab. I imagine that Rahab was pretty scared to lie to the soldiers and to the king and then to ask the spies if they would save her family. That wouldn't have been a really easy thing to do. But she'd heard about God and she'd heard about what he'd done with the Israelites and she wanted to trust him. And you know, later on, Rahab married an Israelite called Solomon and Solomon and her were the parents of Boaz who married Ruth. And if you watched the sermon a few weeks ago, that's exactly what Mr. Mark preached about. He preached about Boaz and Ruth. And Rahab then went on to be the great, 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 great grandma of Jesus. So we never know 
what God has in store for us or what plans he has for the world. But we do know that so often he just uses ordinary people to do his work. And that's what I love about the story of Rahab. Rahab wasn't, was a sinful person. And God knew that and God knew about her sin. But he chose to use her in his story. And I think that's amazing. And I love to learn about the people in the Bible that God used to further his kingdom. After this, if you want, there is some colouring and some activities. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.